Hey everyone! So, today's video is going to be one that was requested by a few people actually a while ago but I put it off because I'm silly. But this is going to be about my artwork. I am basically just going to show it to you and talk about it a bit and yeah. So I guess before I show you anything I should probably tell you what it's like and what my influences are and such. My art mainly has a kind of foresty theme usually or a kind of fantasy theme so I draw a lot of dragons and fairies but then I also draw a lot of animals. I'm also really interested in the idea of anthropomorphism which is pretty much animals with kind of human characteristics and things of that nature. I work mainly with watercolour paints, watercolour pencils and ink. The ink stuff is usually black and white and if it's a really really big painting then I'll use acrylics like kind of watered down a bit. Occasionally I'll use just coloured pencils but that's really only for smaller things because it kind of hurts because like I press really hard on the paper with coloured pencils. I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> my favourite artists that like really influence my work a lot, one of them would have to be Caitlin Hackett. She's amazing. She works with watercolours and her pieces are really detailed and realistic but surreal at the same time and it's awesome. I also really like Mark Ryden and Kakula. I'm also kind of into Frida Kahlo, stuff like that. Yeah, so anyway, I guess I'll show you. I've selected a few different paintings, stuff like that to show you. So first one I'll show you is the one you can see in the background. This is one that I did for my mum. I did this one in 2011. Hopefully the contrast isn't going to be too annoying. I've never showed this to the internet I don't think. Like not on Facebook or Tumblr or anything because uh, I couldn't get the contrast right in the photo. But you can see it's ravens and the sky is actually a bit darker but yeah it's basically a raven lady. I think I called her, oh I have the names on the back, Ravelock or Lady of the Ravens, that's what it says. Yeah, but she is meant to be kind of part raven and you can kind of see that with her arm there, it's got like skin like the raven's legs. She has white eyes like Australian ravens, her hair's all crazy and awesome, raven feathers in it, raven skulls, giant raven, yeah. This is probably one of my favourite pieces and I just love it. It's set in a pine forest and yeah. Next, while we're still on ravens, this one is probably going to be for sale soon but I did this in 2012. This is a military raven, I don't even know. But yeah, it's a person with a raven head replacing their human head, if that makes sense. So this is like an example of my anthropomorphism work anthropomorphic? I don't know. But yeah. Sorry about the glare. Yeah, that's him. I actually did a speed art video on that raven one that I just showed you. This one. It goes for like 10 minutes or something, but I don't know. I kind of like it. If you look far back enough into my videos, you can find it. This one is an example of one of my ink drawings that's just black and white. It's based off of the idea of plague doctors but it's kind of got a bird skull instead of the usual mask that they have but it still kind of acts as one. Yeah and I just kind of stuck it in this cute little frame. I have another black and white. This is someone that I draw a lot actually. She's a pirate. Her name is Rivero and I think there was actually a real pirate called Rivero, but I think they're dead, I don't know, but this one is, yeah. And then I have this. This is a more symbolic one, which you can tell because it's kind of surreal. And this is actually not a rabbit, it was meant to be a hare, like an albino kind of hare. And it has all these mushrooms floating around it, and they are Satan's beliefs, which is the kind of mushroom they are. And they are very bad for you if you eat them. And this piece is called Temptation, and it's about wanting something that you know is bad for you, but it feels like the only option. I and mean, that's kind of what's going on here, because you know there's the hair kind of floating around with the mushrooms, and the mushrooms is all that's there, but um, I don't know, you could be hungry or something. It's like, damn, I want to eat those mushrooms. But no, they're poisonous, what do I do? So... Yeah, that's why it's called Temptation. I really didn't put that very well, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I've really been getting into drawing rabbits and hares lately. This one is my own version of the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. 
that's him. He's got a interesting shaped head for a rabbit, they're not usually like that, but I still think it's kind of cute. Next one I'll show you is another one I did for my mum, I think it was for Mother's Day, but I can't really remember. Um, it was from 2012. It is this fox, and he has little mushrooms growing on him. And I just love him so much because he looks so happy and, I don't know, he's cute. I really like this one. Next, this is someone that I draw quite often. They're my own kind of character I've made up, like River, which was the pirate I showed you. This is the Observer, and he was one of the first characters that I ever created, so... This one I did this year, when I was in New South Wales. I'm sorry it's a bit hard to show you, but hopefully you can see. But yeah, he's drinking tea and he's got his ravens there. He has an albino raven and a not albino raven. Usually when I draw albino ravens in my work, it's kind of to represent vulnerability. And the nooses and everything are symbolic as well. Usually they represent problems to overcome, getting through things without them getting to you. And this piece is kind of about finding your own space and your own peace within yourself despite what's going on around you. So... Yeah, that's why there's like nooses and stuff around, which is representing problems to overcome, but he's still just sitting there calmly making some tea with his ravens. So, yeah, hope that made sense. I'm not very good at explaining things unless it's some typing, so I'm sorry. Next one I'll show you is of a barn owl. I dreamt about him, so I painted him. But he's pretty cool, he's just hanging out in the forest. He doesn't look exactly like a barn owl, he's just based off of one, so if you are some kind of barn owl expert, don't worry, this this isn't completely accurate and it's not really meant to be. That's him. This next one is a self-portrait because I, I don't know, I do self-portraits every now and then. This is kind of basically how I see myself in my head, more or less. Yeah, I know, I, I messed up on the eyes, they're all crooked and weird. Anyway, yeah that's me. So it's got a doorway there which is kind of the gateway to the world that's in my head which is my art world kind of. So it's got the forest which is where everything is based off of and the ravens and stuff like that. So yeah and like that's the the key to the door which I actually have. If you can you probably can't see it in the background but it's hanging on my candle holder there. But yeah, this one is a work in progress. It's not quite done, but nearly, so I thought I'd throw it in anyway. This is the Observer and another character I created called Corvus, and he is kind of like the raven lady that you saw before, but male version. It's them together, because they're friends. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait until I've finished that. These last two are dragons, and again, they are both my mom's because I made them for her. I'll show you the big one first. This is just big blue dragon. He was done with watercolour paints. And he's just hanging out, being all cute. And this one is my favourite. It's kind of a really tiny dragon that buzzes around flowers and stuff. He's my favourite one, I think. He's got bees hanging out with him. He's kind of meant to be based off of a bee, but a dragon version of a bee, if that makes sense. Yeah. That's all of the artwork I'm going to show you today. I hope it was enough, and I hope you enjoyed and you're satisfied with what you see. And if you want to see any more of my artwork, I can put a link in the description to my Facebook page, which has pretty much all of my artwork that I've ever done, more or less. And you can, like, browse through there and see all the different things. If you're interested, I also take commissions and I can, you know, send stuff overseas and everything if you don't live here. It depends on the size and how long it takes and everything with how much it will cost. And you can either have a copy of it digitally or you can have the original sent to you. I also have an Etsy where I sell some of my art. And it says that it only posts to Australia, but if you discuss things over with me about postage and such, I can send it overseas as well. Yeah, and I think that's about it. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!